let me say that uh, each year when the conference ends, I am in principle, of course, first and foremost, a happy man. Uh, and I am a happy man because uh, most of the speakers, the guests which we had invited, actually came. A few didn't. We had some uh, cancellations like uh, Bibi Netanyahu, uh, who had to cancel. We had Emmanuel Macron, here who had to cancel. But we had so many others. We had the president of Armenia. We had presidents and prime ministers from Europe and beyond. Um, and let me summarize uh, this conference as follows. Um, I think this weekend has demonstrated once again that we have uh, a world that has a real problem, that international order is not guaranteed, that efforts need to be made to make sure that uh, international law is respected, that international institutions are not weakened, that uh, efforts are made by all to end existing conflicts and that of course we might take um, uh, as an encouragement that here and there actually some conflicts are being ended successfully and I was so pleased that we were able to award our annual award to the Prime Ministers of Greece and uh, now called North Macedonia because after 25 or 27 years, they found a way against domestic opposition on, in both countries to agree and to resolve this long-standing name dispute. So this was a good reason for us to celebrate the success of diplomacy. And this is what this conference is all about. We try to eliminate the need to use military force. We try to plead in favor of conflict solutions. We try to help those that need help in resolving uh, existing conflicts and we, and we try to promote global stability and uh, the rule of law. Well, this is another one of these uh, long-standing conflicts, of course, and it is one that is particularly difficult to resolve because a military force was used in the in the conduct of this conflict. So I'm sure there is a lot of bad blood uh, involved and huge political uh, efforts are required. I was extremely pleased that when we had our last important conference in Minsk, uh, uh, the president of Armenia agreed to participate in a discussion uh, with counterparts uh, from Azerbaijan uh, to discuss the way forward and I continue to hope that at some point in the hopefully in the near future we can celebrate a kind of a success story like we did with Greece and Macedonia here in Munich and if it's not you know 12 months from now maybe it's 24 months from now diplomacy requires determination but it always require also requires patience and I think both need now to be applied. Well, in principle, I think even this year, uh, the Munich Security Conference has had invited both uh, the President of Azerbaijan to be here and the Prime Minister of Armenia, but it didn't work this time, and maybe next year. That's what I hope. Yeah. That's what I hope for. I think exactly. working for peace and prosperity is never late. Never too late, and you you can't work hard enough for it, which is uh, the original purpose of this uh, meeting. And uh, let me conclude by saying that it's, it's good that the efforts made each year here at this weekend in preparing for this weekend are increasing, increasingly recognized and appreciated also by countries far away from Europe. Uh, we had this year the highest level possible in terms of participation from such countries as China, for example. And it was also, I think, a good signal, given the existing transatlantic tensions, that such a large U.S. congressional delegation came to Munich, demonstrating continued American commitment to peace, stability, and prosperity on the European continent, which is something 
which we tended to take for granted for 70 years. It's probably not uh, to be taken for granted. We need to work to maintain it.